Hey, this is the Shadow Mantis, and welcome back to part, or episode, 12 of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last part, we started heading out east for Bill's house, and in this part, we're going to continue going that way. So, uh, I'm just thinking of what I was doing yesterday. I ranted on the GameCube. Yeah, now I remember. Alright. I'm a cool guy. I've got a girlfriend. You got a girlfriend? Well, then why are you wearing such terrible clothes? Oh my god. Ratata. Could have expected that from such a cool kid. So, Blanca. Blanca's gonna tear through this Ratata. And basically, today I'm gonna hope to evolve Serpentine. I really want to evolve Serpentine today. Because then. I will have a new, actually good party member, and he'll just rape everything. Everything. I'm dead serious, too. He's gonna be, like, going through the forest, even though he's, like, a water. He's he's supposed to live in the lake, but, but he's gonna be walking through the forest, alright? And this Pidgey's gonna come at him, and he's just gonna hyperbeam that shit. If you don't know what Hyper Beam is, it is the most, it is the strongest move in the game, but is normal type. There's also different versions of Hyper Beam uh, that you learn later, really later on in the game, before the uh, second final boss. No, before I'm gonna say the eighth boss. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, there's kind of different bosses like. There's eight gyms, but then there's Team Rocket. You gotta face their leader twice, and then what you gotta do, and then there's the final boss. All right. I don't really like calling them bosses, but I'm gonna call them bosses just to make it more simple. And if you uh, actually face that guy, the actually way I did. Like, you have to go right here, then he'll move down from up there, then you can get in through here. If you don't do it correctly, you have to come back later with cut. See, this is the kind of tree that can be cut down with the move cut I was talking about yesterday. Just wanted to point that out. And let's fight this guy. I had this feeling. I knew I had to battle with you. It was my destiny. So, lately, I actually uh, downloaded on my computer the first season of Pokemon, the anime, and I've got to say, the first season was obviously the best season. Like, I'm not saying the other seasons were bad, but they were nowhere as good as the first season, or nowhere as memorable, per se, as the first season. Because the first season, uh, I remember watching the first season as, like, a really little kid. I remember Pikachu all, like, raping shit up. Raping those Spearows up in the first episode. Yeah, you know it. Sandshrew. I think... Serpentine's gonna... Do nothing. Serpentine's not gonna do anything until he levels up. And then I'm gonna give him a chance to prove himself worthy. Probably should've sent out Stoner there, but I'm gonna leave... I'm gonna leave that to decide if I actually die. I Blanca is a little overpowered now. Uh, Stoner needs Stoner doesn't really need to be that powerful to just rape Misty, which is the second boss. It's more gym leader. It really doesn't need to be that powerful. All I need is a good backup. Cause then then I'll be golden. I'll be golden. And my friend has many cute Pokemon. I'm so jealous. You should be jealous. You really should be. Last Haley would like to battle. Oddish. Alright, so this 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 person is a grass trainer. Mainly focuses on grass type. For some reason I remember certain battles in Pokemon games. Like I always remember um it's in Pokemon Ruby. Before Mount Pi- no. It's before, uh, 
I, I forget the mountain name. It's the volcano. Uh, there's a hiker on the volcano. The the south side of the volcano. And he has five geodudes and a machop. I always remember it. I always... I don't know why. But I always remember that one guy. I'm just like, oh, this guy's the guy with the geodudes. Better get out my water Pokemon. Or my grass Pokemon, whichever one I'm using in this playthrough. I'm gonna try to actually take this Pidgey down with my tackle attacks. Oh, critical. Oh, critical. That means that normal would be terrible. Am I actually gonna take this thing down with Serpentine? Because Serpentine hasn't killed anything yet. Anything. Not one. Not one thing. Right. I may have to switch Serpent. <gasps> critical hit! You better not die, I swear to god, super time. 150 and Oddish. I'm gonna leave Serpentine out and then I'm gonna switch him out like super fast, like, oh shit! Gotta get rid of Serpentine, because he'll just be terribly raped. Alright. Full out of you sweet said. Charmantis' evasiveness lowered. Ember. So we're really close to Bill right now. He is a Pokemon maniac. And he is going to be giving us something we need to continue on. We don't even need to fight the second gym, actually. Well, actually we do. Yes, we do. Alright, so where's Bill? Hiya! I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey, what's that sp Skeptical look. I'm not joshing you, pal. I screwed up with an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. Alright. Wait till I get inside the teleporter. When I do, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Alright, so that's Bill. He is a Clefairy. Bill the Clefairy. Yes. Ryan initiated the teleporter cell separator. Why am I still speaking like this? This is Bill's voice. <laughs> I don't know. Alright. So, he combined with the Clefairy. Uh, but where the hell is the Clefairy? Like, is it in here? Nope. Yeehaw! Thanks, bud, I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've gotta thank you. Oh, here, maybe this'll do. Ryan received the SS ticket from Bill. That cruise ship SSA on is in Vermilion City. I hear there are lots of trainers on board too. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dudes. Why don't you go instead of me? Go on, I have a good time. Alright, so he just gave us a ticket for a cruise ship. Uh, and if you actually enter again, you can go to his PC and look at Eevee. No. Flareon. Jolteon. And Vaporeon. Now, all of those Pokemon evolved from Eevee. Uh, with the use of elemental stones. They automatically evolve Eevee. For you. Like, you give Eevee a Thunderstone? Mm, it's a Volt. It's Jolteon. Volteon. That would, that would be cool. That would be cool. Alright, so now that we're down here, the police officer has moved. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the rockets. Alright, so you guys can't catch Team Rocket even though he's right out the back door. Seriously. Oh my god. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Alright. You're in a Team Rocket suit, and you're claiming to be an innocent bystander. Well, I believe you, buddy. So, I'm going to switch really quickly to Stoner. Let's try Stoner. Stoner can try to take him a chop down. Come on. Focus energy. Now, Stoner doesn't really have many powerful moves, as I said a couple of episodes ago. 
So basically what he's going to do is he is mainly going to be our status inflicting Pokemon. Like, I'm going to keep Sleep Powder with him because that is a really helpful move. It gives us a couple of free hits on any Pokemon, except for Pokemon that can't go to sleep, like, uh, let's say, Blanca. It has, it can't go to sleep because of its ability. Alright, Karate Chop. It's not very effective. Come on, Sleep Powder. That's right. See how helpful that move is? It's pretty damn helpful. That's how much helpful it is. So, let's keep on vine whipping this a butthole. Did I really just call him a, put a butthole? What am I? What am I? Seven? Well, yes I am. Yes, I am. Now to go back to Serpentine. And face his new Pokemon. Drowsy. Drowsy is a psychic type Pokemon. And it is mainly special defensive and special attack. Because that's what most psychic type Pokemon are. Special attack. But it also has... I'm pretty sure Drowsy's special defense is higher than its special attack. Which is strange, but very helpful at the same time. So... Yeah. Whatever. Oh no, you confused me. Alright, Mega Punch. And his Drowsy is down. It is already dead. It's completely dead. Serpentine grew to level 18. And um, now I'm just gonna... I'm gonna level him up. Stop, I give up. I leave quiet. I just messed up that text, but I don't care. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. Alright, so this TM is uh, a, a move that interacts with the environment, but it's not an HM. And so, yeah, it's weird. So I'm going to take these rare candies and give them to Serpentine. See, look at that dumb shit. Look at him. Look at him. He's terrible. Right, level 19. And now let's go for a level 20. Super Time was elevated to level 20. Right, so watch this. Its HP is 41. Attack is 13. Defense is 31. Special attack is 16. Special defense is 15. Speed is 43. Now just remember those. Or you can go back in the recording once I'm done. And look how much his stats have changed. It's unbelievable. Holy shit. Look how much he's fucking changed. Holy shit. And he learns bite. Alright, so now I'm gonna go see his stats. And show you- No, I don't want to go to my trainer card. And show you how much it's changed. HP is 71. Attack, 63. Defense, 41. Defense only went up 10, but that's... Still pretty good. Special attack, 34. Special defense, 44. Speed, 44. He's better... He's better than Mantis. Charmantis. He's better than everything on our team now. Everything. So, that's all I have for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Goodbye. Alright, why am I saving and not turning off the recording? Seriously!